Let's turn our attention now to security. No fewer than 33 persons have been killed by armed bandits in Runji village, and that's in Zango Kataf, local government area of Kaduna State. Eyewitnesses say the assailants who stormed the village at about 9.30 p.m. on Saturday were heavily armed and came in large number. More than a dozen of the slain victims were set ablaze in their houses. We have details in this report. It's a black Sunday for residents of Runji village in Zango Katab local government area of Kaduna state. No fewer than 33 people were killed by heavily armed bandits who stormed their village in large numbers Saturday night. Other villagers were reportedly injured in the attack, but it's unclear how many. Over a dozen houses were also set ablaze by the terrorists. And those who were lucky to escape say the rampaging gunmen operated for an hour without the intervention of security authorities. Last month, they attacked two communities. Last week, another community was attacked. Yesterday, this community was attacked. Already about 32 people are killed. About 40 houses were bombed. There was nobody that came here to help us. So I don't know. We don't know what is the cost. And we are looking for the government to come. And one thing that disturbs us, we have military men around, but they can't help us. Clearly, the locals appear helpless. They gathered on Sunday to bury the remains of their loved ones in a mass grave. Among them are the bodies of little children below the age of 12. And some corpses are without heads. Today again, here we are, waiting by to 33 souls of a peaceful, loving people. The government is not, still not saying anything. The villagers are now gripped by the fear of another attack. Several of them could be seen packing their bags to vacate the village. No security presence could also be seen, and the people say they now feel abandoned by the federal and state governments. They clearly need more than assurances from the government and security authorities to guarantee their safety. Lupe Asom, TVC News, Runji Zango Kataf.